All right, welcome back. Very nice song, uh, Always Pray For You by Nusa. Now, time for us to talk about something really very, very important for Isabel Budo, Nigeria. Apart from the fact that we they expect our government to do something for us, Nigerians too don't take them upon themselves to do things for fellow Nigerians, especially for children. And this person where they're inside the house, and a person where you need to actually learn from because she don't decide, say, I'm not going to just fold my hands and just sit down for my own comfort zone and enjoy myself why a lot of Nigerian Pekins them, they don't get access to some basic things. And that's now why she could tell us the kind of thing where she do to make sure say these people smile. Do I welcome a humanitarian and teacher, Remy Adejokun. Good to have you in the house. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. All right, just for you to know, she na she has been westernized. <laughs> not really. I, not teacher for Obodo abroad, um, but she decided to come to Nigeria to do something very <laughs> significant. Tell us that thing where you decide to come to Nigeria, come do. Well, first of all, I have to take this opportunity to thank God because I'm not different from anybody at all. Um, I have a charity. I remember living in America and I came here all oh, looking good and I saw children with no shoes running to school very excited to go to school and that was about 20 years ago and I said I would never come here I'm only dolled up like this because I'm on TV but normally I'm always with my jeans looking all dirty you know and I said wait a minute I can't let a child go like that to school without no shoes you know I've got to make an impact and my life has never been the same since then and um, we opened a charity myself and my children called Relief Africa and every year we come here, especially during Children's Day, because I see that there's no equality. Some children are not really feeling Children's Day. So I just make, and then it happens to be May is my birthday. Oh, so I'm nice. like, you know what? We're just going to groove this together. So I'm just exactly doing what Proverbs 19:17 is saying. You know, when you learn to God, you've learned to the, when you learn to the poor, you've all, you're doing all this for God. Mm. So... It is, it's, it's, I'm not special, and I want people to know that I'm not special, but I can't just see myself sitting abroad, folding my hands, like you say, and don't do nothing. That would be very, very inconsiderate and non-passionate of me. I want to make you as in give better details to some of the things where you do. Now, you become <laughs> Nigeria, yeah. and then you realize, say, ah, me, where are they fine clothes? I did chop better food. But see some Nigerian Pekins then just they walk out up and down and they don't get access no. to some of these things where I don't they benefit. And that's mm. not why you come here. Tell us the category of children where you mm. concentrate on and what do they do to put smile for their yeah. faces? Um, I go to children's homes such as um, the disabled homes. Oh. Um, I would like not to mention the names of the homes. And I also go to hospice. Okay. Hospice, if people don't know about it, is a home where they've given a child two or three weeks to leave. And um, I also go to an orphanage. I also make an impact with the, um, the elderly and then, you know, give them things that they can work on so they can transfer to their children. Now, I just don't come to give because, you know, I could have just shipped it and say, oh, dump give it over it there. The people, yes. I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I come here and I dress up as Michael Jackson, Tina Turner. Um, the one I did last time was I was in a horse jumping and like a cow. You know, everybody, every one of us has a kid in them. Yeah. And um, I did that. And you know what, just putting in the costume alone, going to the children's home, that's the hospice. Just to make them happy. Basically. Look, just looking at me alone, the, the little girl was smiling. Yeah. Oh. You know, and, and you know, for me, um, that's money Five for days. me. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's that's 5.50, whatever million dollars, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. that makes, you know, when you give, it may seem selfish that maybe you are trying to fulfill your needs, but I truly feel the children are desperately in need. Mm. And every one of us need to do something about it. I like that. Now, you get one quote where I read one time. They say, you, you never leave until a person don't look up to you and say, you don't help me smile. Mm. So in as much as we the expect, say, the second term, the yeah. administration go day very okay and go favor us, you too, as Nigerian, you get a role to play to put a smile on another person's yes. face. Now, how long you don't do this particular philanthropic work? Over 10 years. 10 good years? Yeah. And are only Lagos now you they come, or you get other states I go to go? Ghana, I go to Dubai. Um, well, you have to understand, my first love is God. And um, something also happened while we came to, to give to the children in need, where my child fell into coma. 
And I said, Lord, I want to do your work in Nigeria, so you need to see me through. And he did. And since then, I can't just stop. You know, I've got to give back. And I don't need anybody to come and tell me thank you. You know, I was really yeah. saying to myself, do I really need to come and do this? You know, what am I going to gain from it? And the Lord said, no, you go and tell them what I've done for you. Yeah. And I thank God for my life. And I just want people to know out there that you don't have to be special to do for another child. Even if you don't have, that's when you should go and sweep a home. Go to a home and sweep. When you give, you don't have to give money, you know. You could give yourself by sweeping a home. Do you know that is the best thing? Go to a, a child's home, get a book and read to that child and finish for the day or for the week. And you will see how your blessing will come. Because to be honest with you, believe me, I am not rich. I always say, oh, mom, I'll tell my mom when I'm rich, I'll have a, a charity. No, mm. no. Now, coming here, just for you to know, say, coming here, not be say you want to blow your trumpet. No, ma'am. But you never can tell who they actually watch, and they inspired by what you they do and decide to do the same thing. Mm. That one just means, say, you are actually yeah. giving other people um, the kind path where they need to actually go. Yeah. So it's yes. good, say, you actually come oh, here. Thank now, you. Now, I, I just, I still, I go talk my last question. Now, only Lagos or Nigeria, now you they actually visit some of those children for those homes, or you don't go other states in mm. Nigeria. Oh, I haven't been to any other states oh, in Nigeria. Oh, just Lagos. Yeah, just Lagos. Um, I do give gifts to Adoe Kitty, but I've never been to Adoe Kitty, you know. You get any um, plans to expand? Because you get a lot of children everywhere. Everywhere. We need some people And that's like you. why I need a lot of people. They don't have to join my organization. Even a little child, if you have a child, and you can see that that child is a giver, build that child up. Mm. Let that child have a foundation. If the child's name is... Chioma, I love the name Chioma, I don't know why. Chioma Foundation, there to help the needies. A little child that starts from 10 years old can expand and start bringing her friends to learn to share. You know, we take this thing about sharing for granted. So I pray to God, wherever God takes me, I'll go. That's what I'll say. Thank you so much. So you enter inside the house. What's the name of your foundation? It's called Relief Africa Charity Organization. Relief Africa Charity Organization. Yeah. Now, if person where they out there and they will actually support or rather give you some kind of materials for the children, can they do so? Definitely. So how can they? Do you have um, a website? I have Instagram? a website okay. and it's www.relieveafrica with a K. Um, that's R E L I E F A F R I K A dot org. Dot UK. Okay. Yeah. Or you really? can just Google my name, okay. you know, um, email me and everything like that. Okay. What's your email? My email is remyadejokun at yahoo.co.uk. Simple. All right. So if Very. you also you want to support this movement, please send her email. Or you can actually just visit the website, Relief mm. Africa. Not be the, not be with the C in spelling Africa. Okay. Now with K-A. ReliefAfrica dot. Dot. ReliefAfrica.org.uk. .org.uk. Thank you so much for Thank you so much for having us. And keep being very impactful. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.